Abby's from uh, at Adventures of Literary Nature. Um, so you guys have been asking about my books and asking me to do a bookshop tour. So I thought I would attempt to go ahead and do one. Um, I am not a videographer by any stretch of anyone's imagination, and I'm just shooting this on my iPhone. But I will show you the books that I have, and we'll see how it pans out. Um, a couple things. I sort my books alphabetically by author, so I will just be starting with the A's and moving through. Um, I will only be showing my novels because I have like some nonfiction and some like classics, but I really don't think you guys care to see that, so I'm just going to do the novels. This may take a little while. I have about 1,090-ish books, so it could take a little bit to get through, but we will see if we can try to keep it not too long. So here we go, here are the books. Okay, starting in the A's. Um, first off, have Shelley Adina's um, All About Us books. Um, they're like YA, read them a long time ago, but I really enjoyed them. Um, then I have the, um, a couple of the Misty Willow books by Johnny Alexandra. Um, and then I have some Tamara Alexandra. Love her books. I still need to read these two. I don't know why I haven't read them yet. I think it's because they're long. And I just, I, I love her books, but I haven't gotten around to them. So I have the Belmont Mansion series. I have the Bell Mead um, series. And then uh, a couple of her other books. Excuse me. Um, then I have some Lynn Austin. Um, just, I haven't read a lot of hers, but these are the ones I have read. And I love all of them, so I don't know why I haven't read more. But I have Proper Pursuit, Wonderland Creek, A Woman's Place, and Hidden Places. Um, next up is Karen Barnett's books. We have her um, one series. I cannot remember the name of it. Let's see. Why not just pull it out and see? It's the Golden Gate Chronicles, of course. And so I have that whole series. And then I just got her um, book, The Road to Paradise. So I'm excited to read that one. Um, I have the Methuselah Project. Try saying that fast. By Rick Barry. And then I have some Pepper Basham, which I think I have most, if not all, of her books. But I have her Penned in Time series, I have her Mitchell's Crossroads series, I have Second Impressions, Just the Way You Are in Facade. <laughs> Love all of her books. Can't rave about her enough. Um, in the corner we have some by Lori Benton, The Pursuit of Tamsin Littlejohn, The Wood's Edge, and Many Sparrows. And then I also have Refuge by Lisa T. Berggren. Next shelf has more Lisa T. Berggren. I have her Homeward Trilogy. Um, the Remnant series, um, the Grand Tour series, my absolute favorite, the River Time series, which was my first introduction to Lisa, and I absolutely just adore the series so much. Still one of my favorites. Um, I still need Deluge, but I will eventually get it. And then I have her Rivers of Time California books, and um, the first book in her new series, The Sugar Bar Baron's Daughters, and that's Katura. Uh, I have a couple by Kristen Billerbeck. I have The Theory of Happily Ever After and Perfectly Dateless. Um, next up is Joanne Bischoff. I have Be Still My Soul, which is the first book in the Cadence of Grace series. I still need to get my hands on books two and three so I can finally read them and actually have that end of the series. But, life. <laughs> um, I also have The Lady in the Lionheart, which I still need to read that one. I know. Hold your shock. I will. It's the top of my TBR. I will get to it as soon as humanly possible. Um, I have This Quiet Sky and Sons of Blackbird Mountain, both of which I absolutely adored. Um, next is Beneath the Surface by Lynn H. Blackburn. She's a newer author, and this is the first book in the Dive Team Investigation series. Um, I have If I'm Found, in, well, If I'm, If I Run and If I'm Found by Terry Blackstock. I have the Logan Point series by Patricia Bradley. And then I have The Heart of the West and The Blue Willow Brides by Maggie Brendan. Okay, and I have Sisterhood Everlasting by Anne Brashears. Um, it's a sequel to the Sister of the Traveling Pants series. Um, I have three books by Kate Breslin, For Such a Time, Not by Sight, and High as the Heaven, love um, her books. I've Crossed My Heart by Emma Brown, um, Bound in Translation and Lost in Dreams by Roger Bruner, um, Halflings series by Heather Birch, um, I have Until I Found You and Together with You by Victoria Byland, Mist of the Midnight by Sandra Bird, still need to read this one, but I've heard good things. Um, I have the Texas Dream series and a couple books in the Westward Wind series by Amanda Cabot. Uh, Trauma Plan by Candace Calvert. Uh, my Christy Cameron books, I have The Butterfly and the Violin, uh, Sparrow and Terrazin, Ringmaster's Wife, all three of those I've read. I still need to read The Illusionist Apprentice and The Lost Castle, but I just got these ones, so hopefully we'll get to them soon. Um, I have several books by Elizabeth Camden. I have Lady of Bolton Hill, The Rose of Winslow Street, Against the Tide, Into the Whirlwind, 
with every breath beyond all dreams and until the dawn. Still need to read with every breath and until the dawn, but I will hopefully read them soon. Um, then I have the start of my Melody Carlson books. I have her um, Dear Daphne series, which I've read the first two of and still need to read the last two. And more Melody Carlson. Um, I have her Follow Your Heart series, uh, Once Upon a Winter's Heart, and then I have quite a few of the Diary of a Teenage Girl. I have Caitlin, Chloe, and Kim. Um, I also have the Notes from a Spinning Planet, the um, Carter House Girls, and the Secret Life of Samantha McGregor. I have the first book in the Dating Games, um, and then I have the first five books of the um, On the Runway series. <clears throat> and then I also have the one book from The Life at Kensington High. Um, next up is Allie Carter. Um, I have her Gallagher Girl series and her Embassy Row series, both of which I love. I also have the High Society series by Allie Carter. Um, I have the first two books of the Selection series by Kiara Cass. I have Dueled by Elise, oh, Elsie Chapman, Under the Cajun Moon by, um, Mindy Starnes Clark. I have Blue Moon Promise and Safe in His Arms by Colleen Coble, um, Interrupted and Chasing Jupiter by Rachel Coker, Hunger Games Trilogy, Match Trilogy, and then Mary Keneally's collection, which I have, I think, all of her books. So I have the Last Wood in Texas series, Montana Marriages series, Sophie's Daughter series, um, Trouble in Texas, Kincaid Brides, Wild at Heart, have the Cimarron Legacy series, also by Mary Keneally, The Accidental Guardian, Deep Trouble, and Cowboy Christmas. Um, then I have the Men of the Saddle series by Lori Copeland. This was a series that I read, like, one of the first, like, adult Christian fiction that I read, and it's still one of my favorites. Read it a couple times, but absolutely love them. Um, then I have by Carol Cox, I have Love in Disguise, Trouble in Storm, Truth Be Told. And then I have the beautiful books, um, the Everstone Chronicles by Don Crandall. I still need The Hesitant Heiress. I've read it on my Kindle, but I need to get a copy of it on my shelf because it makes me sad to not have it. Um, next up is Kay Dacus. Or Dacus? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I have her Matchmakers series. Her, um, I don't know what this series is called, but it's, um, Standing Grim, Many for Moments, and A Case of Love case for love. Um, I also have the Ransom's Ransom, the Ransom Trilogy. Um, and then also the Grand Exhibition books. Um, I have Jupiter Wins by C.J. Darlington. I have the Maze Runner books by James Dashner. Um, the Fraser Island books by Susan Page, is it Susan Page Davis? Yes, Susan Page Davis. <laughs> and then the Miracle Girl series by Ann Dayton and Mae Vanderbilt, which are young adults that are really ripped. I have um, three books in the Drew Farthing series by Juliana Deering. Still have not read any of those, but I've heard lots of good things, so when I found them on sale, I picked up a few of them. Um, I just got these books by Nicole Deese and hope to read them soon. Um, I have The Seer Novel by Rochelle Decker. Um, the Captain's Daughter by Jennifer Delmore. Haven't read that one yet. I have a couple by Sarah Dessen. I've read The Truth About Forever, and I still need to read that summer and Along for the Ride. I have The Memory of Us by Camille Daimeo. Um, not sure how you pronounce her last name, but it's a World War II story, so I'm really excited to read that one. Um, next up are my Melanie Dickerson. I have her, like, fairy tale ones. I um, have a couple of the um, Thornback series, which I just realized I think I have those out of order. But And then I have A Spy's Devotion, which I actually still have not read A Spy's Devotion, but I'm going to get to it soon. Like I keep saying with all the books I haven't read. <laughs> Uh, I have The Courier of, Cas Courier of Caswell Hall by Melanie Dobson, City of Ember. Um, I have a couple of The Daughters of Brain Bainbridge House by Laurie Alice Eakes. Um, I have The Women of Justice and The Deadly Reunion series by Lynette Eason. Also by Lynette Eason, I have The Elite Guardians, The Hidden Identity, and the first two books in her new series, Blue Justice. I have Unblemished by Sarah Ella, which I still need to read, but again, kept hearing good things, so had to snag a copy when I found it on sale. Um, I have Fair Than Morning and Sweeter Than Birdsong from the Sadler's Legacy series by Rosalind Elliott. Um, Problem and Prejudice by, I think, Elizabeth, yeah, Elizabeth Yulberg. 
um, Mountain Script by Amy Finnegan and Carcheron by Catherine Fisher. My Life Next Door and The Boy Most Likely Too by Huntley Fitzpatrick. Um, just got those and need to read them. I had The Hope of Azure Springs by Rachel Fordham. Um, some books by Laura France. I had The Colonel's Lady, The Frontiersman's Daughter, Cordy Morrow Little. I had The Ballantine Legacy Series, The Mistress of Tallacre, A Moonbow Knight, and The Lace Maker. Um, I have from Katie Ganshirt, I have Wildflowers in Winter, Wishing on Willows, and A Broken Kind of Beautiful. Also by Katie Ganshirt, I have The Art of Losing Yourself and Life After. Um, I have A Princess of the Midnight Ball, which is a retelling of some story that I can't remember. Um, I have The Stones Cry Out, The Rivers Run Dry, The Clouds Roll Away, and The Mountains Fly Down by Sabello Giorello. I have not read these yet, but I kept seeing them and kept finding them on sale, so I bought them, and we'll see if I get around to reading them. Um, next I have my Dan Gist books. I have A Bride Must Be Grudging, The Measure of a Lady, Courting Trouble, Deep in the Heart of Trouble, A Bride in the Bargain, Made to Match, Love on the Line, Tiffany Girl, which I still have not read, it happened at the fair and fair play that I also still need to read. Um, I also have Begaled, which she wrote with J. Mark Bertrand. Um, I have The Swiss Courier by Trisha Goyer and Mike Yorkie. And then by Trish, just by Trisha Goyer, I had the, By the Light of the Silvery Moon from Dust and Ashes and Dawn of a Thousand Nights. I still need to read these two. And The Swiss Courier at some point. <laughs> and also by Trisha Goyer is Remembering You. And, okay, well, I'm really missing things. <laughs> um, Love Finds You in Glacier Bay, Alaska, which is by Trisha Goyer and Oceana Fleece. I'm probably butchering that name, sorry. <laughs> um, I have My Hope Next Door and My Unexpected Hope by Tammy L. Gray that I still need to read. Um, Looking for Alaska and The Fault in Our Stars by John Green and The Mark of the King by Jocelyn Green. Also by Jocelyn Green, I have her Heroines Behind the Lines series that's set um, in the Civil War. Um, I have Love Finds You in Sunset Beach by Robin Jones Gunn, as well as her Glenbrook series, which is an old favorite. Um, I have the Boo series by Renee Guttridge, um, and I have the Prairie Promises and the Husbands for Hire series by Kelly Eileen Hake. And then by Kathy Marie Hake, I have, um, I think all of her novels, Letter Perfect, Bittersweet, Fancy Pants, Forevermore, Whirlwind, That Certain Spark, and Serendipity. Then I have um, The Summer I Turned Pretty and It's Not Summer Without You by Jenny Han or Han or however you say that. So by her I have um, To All the Boys I Loved Before and P.S. I Still Love You. Um, and then my Irene Hannon books. She is one of my absolute favorites. And I have her Heroes of Quantico, her Guardians of Justice, her Private Justice, her Men of Valor, um, the first book in her new series Code of Honor. I have her Hope Harbor series and then That Certain Summer and One Perfect Spring. Um, I have The Heart Between Us by Lindsay Harrell, which is one of my absolute favorite books that I've read this year so far. So good. Um, and then I have The Southern Crimes and The Nikki Boyd Files by Lisa Harris. Um, Speak to Me of Love by Robin Lee Hatcher, which is one I actually used to get out of the library and read all the time. So I had to, of course, get it to add to my collection. Um, have You Gonna Love Me, which I haven't read, and The Heart's Pursuit. Um, then I have Dining with Joy by Rachel Houck. And then the rest of my Rachel Houck collection, I have The Wedding Dress, The Wedding Chapel, The Wedding Shop, The Writing Desk, and then her Royal Wedding series. Um, next up is Jody Headland, who I absolutely love. I have um, The Preacher's Bride, The Doctor's Lady, An un uh, Indian Devotion, A Noble Groom, Rebellious Heart, Captured by Love, Love Unexpected, and Hearts Made Whole, and Undaunted Hope, which are the Beacons of Hope series. Um, I have the Orphan Train books, I have Newton and Polly, Luther and Cath Katharina. Um, I have her YA series, um, An Uncertain Choice, A Daring Sacrifice, and For Love and Honor. Uh, next up is Dee Henderson. I have her um, Uncommon Heroes series. I have The Marriage Wish, God's Gift, and Jennifer, which is the prequel to the O'Malley series. And of course I have the O'Malley series, um, which are my favorites of hers. I don't actually really enjoy any of her newer stuff, so I just will keep reading her older stuff. Um, I have the series by Stacey Henry. I'm not sure what it's called. Um, I think it's uh, yeah. Love and War series. Um, Hope at Dawn, Hope Rising, and Hope Remembered. Still need to read a Hope Remembered, but I've loved the first two. Um, I have the Ruth Logan Hearn books. 
I have Refuge of the Heart, More Than a Promise, and First Gift, all of which I have not read. Um, then I have some Tracy L. Higley. I have Owl of Shadows, City of the Dead, and Queen's Handmaid. And then by Mona Hodgson, I have her um, series. I can't remember, but it's her Bride series. And then I have the Prairie Song. Um, I have All Those Fire by um, Chuck Holton and Gail Roper, which I read a long time ago, remember enjoying, but don't really remember anything about it. And then comes Denise Hunter, who I just adore her books. Um, I have her Nantucket Love Story series, the Big Sky Romance series, um, the Chapel Spring series, and I also have her Summer Harbor series, Sweetbriar Cottage, and the Blue Ridge Romance series. Um, next, another absolute love of mine is Christiane Hunter series, her Hawthorne House, and then the first book, uh, Defense of Honor, in her new series, Haven Manor. Um, then I have Close to You, Can't Help Falling, and then there was You by Kara Isaac, who I just recently discovered, but, like, absolutely adore. Um, Worth the Time by Laura Jackson, Happy to Be Alive Because by Chelsea Jacobs. Um, I have the series... I can't remember what it's called. No, apparently I cannot remember what it's called. It's not in the title, but um, Melissa Jagir series. Um, and then her second series, which is the T-Bill Morale Society series. Um, I have this series by Carolyn, Ladies of Summerhill by Carolyn James and A Path Toward Love. And then I have The Merciful Scar and Sarah's Choice by Rex St. James and Nancy Rue. Um, by Regina Jennings, I Have Sixty Acres and a Bride, Love in the Balance, Caught in the Middle, A Most Incumbent Marriage, which I still need to read, At Love's Bidding, For the Record, which I still need to read, and Holding the Fort. Next up is the hilarious Jenny B. Jones. Uh, I have Just Between You and Me, Save the Date, There You'll Find Me, The Charmed Life series, The Katie Parker Production series, and I'll Be Yours. Then I have my lovely Ronnie Kenney collection. I think I have all of her military books. I know I don't have her fantasy series. Um, but I have Dead Reckoning, The Discarded Heroes with Ligos Novella. Um, I have A Breed Apart, The Quiet Professionals, The Operation Zulu, and the just completed Tox Files series. I have Origin by Jessica Kiri, and then I have um, some Julie Klassen. The Lady of Milkweed Manor, which I haven't read, The Silent Governess, The Apocalypse's Daughter, The Girl in the Gatehouse, and The Maid of Fairborn Hall. And continuing my Julie Classen, I have The Tutor's Daughter, The Dancing Master, The Secret of Pembroke Park, which I still haven't read, The Painter's Daughter, which is one of my absolute favorites of hers, and The Innkeeper of Ivy Hill, which I need to read. Um, then I have Andrew Clavin's books, I have his Homelander series, I have If We Survive, um, Nightmare City, and then his Mind War series. I do have the third book, but it is on loan to my brother right now, so eventually it'll be back on my shelf. Um, I have the series by Sarah E. Ladd, which is the Whispers on the Moors series. Yeah. Go back in. Um, and then I have the Curiosity Keeper and Dawn and Emberwild. Um, I have the Dune series by Carrie Corp and Lori Langdon, and I also have Olivia Twist by Lori Langdon. Um, I have The Difference Between Night and Day by Melissa Turner Lee, Faking Grace by Tamara Lee, and then Julie Leisman. Oh, love her books. Absolute, one of my absolute favorite authors, like top three. Um, I have A Light in the Window, and then I have the O'Connor Family Saga, which is the Daughters of Boston series and the Winds of Change series. Uh, my sister is currently borrowing A Passion Most Pure, but I also have A Passion Redeemed, A Passion Denied, A Hope Undaunted, A Heart Revealed, and A Love Surrendered. And the rest of my Julie Lessman collection, I have the Heart of San Francisco series, the um, Isle of Hope series, and her new series, the Silver Lining Ranch series. Um, I have A Table by the Window and Reservations for Two, and Jane of Austen by Hilary Manton Lodge, Still need to read these two, but I read and enjoyed this one just recently. Um, tucked way back in here, I have Ever After, Cinderella Story. Then I have Every Perfect Gift by Dorothy Love. Um, Legend by Mary Lou, which I haven't read. Um, no Safe Harbor by Elizabeth Ludwig, which I haven't read. I haven't read any of her books, but found it on sale and so snagged it. Um, I have the Court Sisters series, um, Cowgirl Heart and the Reluctant Cowgirl by Christine Linksweiler, as well as Along Came a Cowboy. 
Um, I have The Thirteenth Chance by Amy Mateo. I haven't read this one or anything by her, but I've heard good things, so I'm excited. Um, then I have my Erin Mangum books. Love her. Always makes me laugh. Um, I have her Lauren Holbrook, her Maya Davis, and her Paige Adler books. Um, then I have by Susan Ann Mason. I have her Courage to Dream series and um, A Most Noble Air. I have um, First Date, Starting Me, Right Where I Belong, and the Anomaly Trilogy by Krista McGee. I have My Hands Came Away Red by Lisa McKay. I have not read that one, but my siblings really liked it, so it's on my TBR. <laughs> um, I have Never the Bride and Greetings from the Flip Side by Lisa McKay and Renee Guttridge. I have The Bachelor Girls Guide to Murder by Rachel McMillan, Hands Across the Moon by Joyce Meyer. Um, I have three of the books, Cinder, Scarlet, and Fairest by Marissa Meyer. Um, I have A Promise to Love by Serena B. Miller, Misfortune by Sarah Mills, which I haven't read, haven't really heard much about, but I, a friend of mine was getting rid of books and it looked cute, so I snagged it. Um, I have The Chasing Survivor by Diana Mills, and then by Siri Mitchell, I have A Heart Most Worthy, which I haven't read, and then The Messenger Unrivaled, Love Comes Calling, which I've all read, and then Like a Flower and Bloom, which I still need to read, and I also have The Cubicle Next Door. Um, I have Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. Uh, I have Ten Plagues by Mary Neely, which is Mary Keneally, but she um, wrote a suspense that so she like used to kind of play on her name. Um, I have The Anniversary Waltz and The Return of Cassandra Todd by Daryl Nelson, Rescuing Hope by... Uh, can't get that out, so we'll just... I don't know who it's by. But it's a um, story of a rescue from sex trafficking. Um, and then by Jeanette Oak, I have Roses for Mama, A Gown of Spanish Lace, and the classic Love from Softly series. Grew up with those books and just absolutely love them. I have the Serena Jones series by Sandra Orchard. I have All the Tea in China by Jane Orcutt, which is sadly the only book she read because she passed away shortly after getting that one published. Um, but I absolutely love it. I have Hangman's Curse by Frank Peretti, and then The French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins, and then I have the Alaskan Courage series um, by Danny Petri. Sabotaged is with a friend, but it will be back where it belongs soon. And I also have her Chesapeake Valor series, which she just finished up. I have To See the Sun by um, Peggy Bland Pfeiffer, um, Shadowed by Grace by Kara Putman, which I still need to read. Um, I have My Fair and My Unfair Godmother um, by Jeanette Rollison. Um, I have several books by Catherine Ray. I have only read Dear Mr. Knightley, but I have Lizzie and Jane, The Bronte Plot, The Austin Escape, and The Portrait of Emily Price. Um, this tiny little novella is One Christmas in Winter by Rel Belle Renshaw, which is a new author love. Um, I have The Atonement Child by Francine Rivers, Life Just Got Real by Sadie Robertson, the Divergent books. I have um, the Hollywood Nobody series, which is a YA, and it's one of my favorite YA series, and that's by Lisa Sampson. And then I have Letters for More by Mark Schultz, which if you've ever read, uh, well, ever heard his song, Letters for More, it's kind of like that in a story, and I absolutely love it. Moving along, we have the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Society by Mary Ann Schaefer and Annie Barrows. Still need to read that one, but I want to read it soon before I watch the movie. Um, I have Dauntless, Chivalrous, and Courageous by Dina L. Sl Sleeman? Sleeman? I don't know. And then I have um, a few books by Jennifer E. Smith. I have a couple more coming. Um, Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight, Hello, Goodbye, and Everything in Between, and The Geography of You and Me I just read. And then This is What Happy Looks Like I just got, so I'll be hopefully reading it soon. Um, I have Loving Grace by April Smith. Stuck in the Middle by Virginia Smith, um, A Walk to Remember and The Longest Ride by Nicholas Sparks, um, All's Fair in Love and Cupcakes, as well as Welcome to Rives and Pieces by Betsy St. Amant, um, Bleeding Heart by Amber Stokes, I have The Secret Diary of Lizzie Bennett um, by Bernie Sue and Kate Rorick, which if you watch the YouTube uh, miniseries, that is the book that's based on that series. I'm like, really excited. I love just recently read it and loved it. Next is another one of my absolute favorite authors, Sarah Sundin. Um, she writes military uh, World War II stories, so that's like my favorite time period. So I have her Wings of Glory series, her Wings of the Nightingale, 
her Waves of Freedom, and then her first book in her new series, uh, which is Sunrise at Normandy. Um, I have, as always, Jack by Emma Sweeney. I have One Pair of Summer by uh, Denise Grover Swank. I some that one somehow ended up on in my mailbox. Don't know, but it'll kind of cute. So hopefully I read it. And comes oh, Melissa Tag, one of my all time, all time, all time, all time favorites. Like just adore her book so much. Um, she has Made to Last, Here to Stay, and then the Walker Family books um, from the start, like never before, Keep Holding On, and All This Time, as well as her Enchanted Novella Collection, which is set in Maple Valley, which is where the Walker Family lives. So just some of the best books ever. Cami Tang, I have her Sushi series, um, and Protection for Hire. Um, Janice Thompson, I have Queen of the Waves, Weddings by Bella series, Weddings by Design series, and the Brides of Style series. Um, I have Snow and the Tulips, Daisies are Forever, and Remember the Lilies by Liz Tolsma. And then the wonderful Jen Toronto books, I have her three series, um, Ladies of Distinction, A Class of Their Own, and Apart from the Crowd. Then I have The Daughter of Highland Hall and The Governess of Highland Hall, which are backwards, and I will switch that around as soon as I end this video. Um, and Shyamalan Gadam by Carrie Taransky. Um, I have The Secret Life of Sarah Hollenbeck. I have the, that's by Bethany Turner. And then I have the Sweet Susan series by Debbie Vigi. Probably butchering that name. And then the Porter Family series by Becky Wade. Also by Becky Wade, I have My Stubborn Heart. And then her Bradford Sisters series, the prequel, Then Came You. And then True to You and Falling for You. Um, I have the Defenders of Hope series by Amy Wallace, and then by Courtney Walsh, who is a new absolute favorite author of mine. I have Paper Hearts, Change of Heart, Just Look Up, Just Let Go, and Hometown Girl. Um, and then we reach my Susan May Warren collection. She has been like my favorite author for forever. I have all of her books that are in print, so this might take a little while going through her books, but yeah. I have her Deep Haven series, the first one and the second one. I have the Christensen Family series, as well as the novella Evergreen. I have the first book of the um, Montana Fire series, but the rest went out of print before I could get them, so I don't have the rest of that. So I do have her Montana Rescue series, her Mission Russia series, and also by Susan May Warren, I have the Team Hope series, the um, Josie series, the Nova Legacy series, and the PJ Sugar series as well as the, um, it's Daughters of Fortune, yeah, Daughters of Fortune series, Sons of Thunder, Nightingale, Baby It's Cold Outside, and A Great Christmas Bowl. Um, the one she wrote with Susan K. Downs, I have that series, it's called The Years of Anton. Um, by Mary Weber, I have Storm Siren and Siren Song. Red Storm Siren, haven't read Siren Song yet. Um, I have Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welch. I have Partials and Fragments by Dan Wells, and then by Rosanna M. White, I have her Ladies of the Manor series, and the first two books in her Shadows Over England series. And also by Rosanna M. White, I have Love Finds You in An Anna Annapolis, Maryland, and her Culper Ring series. Um, by Beth White, I have A Rebel Heart and her um, Gulf Coast Chronicles. I have 16 Brides and a Most Unsuitable Match by Stephanie Whits Grace Whitson. Um, by Lori Wick, I have her Californians, which is one of my all-time favorite series. I have two books in the Kensington Chronicles, um, Who Brings Forth the Wind and The Night and the Dove. I have Sophie's Heart, I have the English Garden series, and I have the Yellow Rose trilogy and The Princess. Um, by Jill Williamson, I have the Safe Lunch trilogy, and then I have uh, Betrayed by... J.M. Wendell. And then by Karen Widemeyer, I have A Tailor Made Bride, Head in the Clouds, To Win Her Heart, A Short Straw Bride, Still on the Preacher, Full Steam Ahead, and A Worthy Pursuit. I also have No Other Will Do, Heart on the Line, and More Than Meets the Eye by Karen Widemeyer. And then I have The House on Foster Hill by Jamie Jo Wright, and The Book Thief by Marcus Zusick. And that is the end of my novel collection.